Can you show me the name of Jesus in the Quran? No, he is Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, so how in the Quran he called him an Isa? Who is Isa? Isa was a prophet. Okay, but, but, prophet. The, but the one we have, his name is Yeshua. How, how Yeshua became Isa? Everything is... Yeshua is the Hebrew term. Okay, so this is Arabic name you mean? Isa means the salvation. So he's a name of salvation. So you are saying to me that the Quran is saying that Jesus is the salvation. Yeah, Allah is using him so, to bring so, salvation. So, okay. so how Jesus is the salvation? He is the salvation. He is not just, he is the salvation. That's what you say. Hello? Hello? So you say that Isa is the salvation. How is that? Yeah, I was saying that Isa was the salvation only for Jews. Because mm. if you read Isaiah 53, mm. God said that uh, for salvation of my people, he will die. Mm. And in Isaiah 52... Okay, hold on, hold on. He will, he will die? Jews. He will die? He will die. Yeah. Okay, so does the Quran say that Jesus died? The Quran says that Wama Qatulu they did not kill him. Mm. Jews didn't kill Jesus. The, the Jews Allah, did not kill Jesus. Okay, what happened to Jesus? Allah killed Jesus and Allah deceived the Jews. Allah and deceived then, the Jews. Okay. So did Allah deceive the Jews or deceive the Christians? Christians were deceived by devil. Satan. But you are the one who said to me that Allah he deceived the Jews. At that time, all the Jews, all the Christians are Jews. Yeah, just like Allah deceived Pharaoh, okay. Allah deceived the Jews. How, how Allah deceived Pharaoh? How Allah deceived Pharaoh? It's, it's meeting the But this is, not, this, this, is, this is not deception. This is a miracle. What this even? So, I, I, let's focus on Jesus now. So Allah, he made the Jews think that they killed Jesus, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you are the one Jews who used, boasting and you are the one who used the word deceived. But as you see, uh, uh, Allah He waited six hundred years to tell us that the one who died in the cross it was not Jesus. And you are the one who used Allah the word never, deceived. Allah never told that uh, that this salvation thing on the cross. I mean, this is complete. No, no, no problem. Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't change topic. See, you are the one who said to me that Jesus is salvation. This is your term, and this is your. Yeah, it, it, don't, don't talk, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Just, just, just wait, just, just wait, let me finish my, my point. And then you are saying to us that Allah, he deceived the Jews. But isn't it you who said to me... Just like Pharaoh. Just, hold on. Isn't it you who said to me that Allah, he sent Jesus to the Jews? Yeah. Okay. So Allah, if he sent Jesus to the Jews, he sent Jesus to these Jews to deceive them or to guide them? No, to deceive them because Jews planned planned against Jesus. So Allah did Messiah. not send Jesus to the Jews to guide them. He sent the Jesus to deceive the Jews. Allah sent all the prophets to guide the Jews, but because of the Jewish plans, Allah okay. changed so did his Allah plan. Send, okay, let us, go, let us go from zero. When Allah, he sent Jesus to the Jews, did he send him to guide them or to deceive them? Now, in, that's why I'm telling that the initial plan of Allah was to guide the Jews, but okay. then later... Hold on. So are you saying to me, are you saying to me that Allah, he was not aware that the Jews, they will not be guided? We do not know? Uh, this is a human perspective of telling, if you read no, this Genesis is not, I'm, not to, I'm not talking about the human perspective. No, no, don't, don't go there. You are an Ahmadiyya, aren't you? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not. I'm so what do you think about the Ahmadiyya? Do you think he is a prophet, Ahmad bin Zabra? Oh, they were, they are infidels. Okay, they are on. not. Okay. And, and you are an infidel too, and we'll prove it in a second. Hold on. So, when Allah, he sent Jesus to the Jews, don't he knew that the Jews will kill him? Or will try to kill him? Do he knew or not? Yeah. Okay. If you talk about his hyper-knowledge, okay. then yeah. Jesus, he come with a book, it's called Injil. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. What the word Injil mean? Good news. In which language? Good news in Greek. Greek. So how also Jesus, he was Greek. sent to the Jews, okay. How Jesus was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in a Greek? Uh, because 
Greek was one type of international language like today's English, mm -hmm. and that's why. Okay, hold on. But your Quran says that Allah he never sent any prophet unless he speak the language of his people. Yeah, okay. Jews also spoke Greek. If you read Acts, Book okay. of Acts, okay. you okay. Hold, have on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It stays Bilisani Qawmihi. Bilisani Qawmihi is the language of the people, not languages they speak. It has to be their language, their tongue. And this is in chapter 14, verse number 4. Read it for us. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm telling that Jews spoke Greek. My, and friend, too. my friend, the Jews who they are living in Arabia, they, they speak a Greek? No, you have a misunderstanding. Okay, no, I'm asking you. Greek. Okay, if Allah, his, so did Allah send his book to the Greek or he sent it to the Jews? No, no. Jesus spoke in Aramaic, but later his apostles in Matthew. No problem. Matthew. Allah, did he send his book in Hebrew okay. or he sent it in the Greek language? In Greek. Okay, where, is, there was where no we can find the book? So guys, re remember this. Allah, he sent his book to the to the Jews in Greek language. Where you yeah, get this? The Injil, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. No, 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 my friend. Well, Greek, just wait, wait. It's not where Arabic. we can find the reference for that, that Allah, he sent his book to the... No, no, we do not have any reference in the so Quran. So what are you are saying that to me? Where do you, you get this from? Where do you get this from? We don't have like all reference in the Quran. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. So where do you give me your answer from? You, you, the answer has to come from somewhere, unless you are claiming to be God and you know everything. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, your yeah. answer no, is coming no, from? No. He's from history. No, history. I'm not God. Okay, which history? God which history you Muslims approve? Do you approve the history or you approve what Muhammad said? Because everything Muhammad he said is against history. As an example, let me ask you. What is the name of the grandfather of uh, uh, Isa, in according to Islam? Grandfather of Isa. Jesus. Yeah. Imran. Imran. But isn't it this is the grand? Isn't it this is the father of Moses? Yeah, but there is a typology in the Quran, like from Musa and Jesus. There is what? Type typology. Yeah, you know that uh, Jesus, the sister of uh, Mary, the sister of okay, so, Aaron. So is 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 Jesus the? Uh, I, is, I I saw this in the commentary. All right, I'm asking you. Is is Moses is the uncle of Isa? No. Okay. So how how Mary she became the daughter of Amran, who is the father of Moses? This is a typology language. This is what. Even if. It, Christian community, they use this type of type of. No, no, we don't have. We don't have. Roman first of all, first of all, first of all, uh, Mary, Listen, she is not Roman even from the tribe. Mary, she is not even from the tribe of Moses. So how Mary, she became the sister of Aaron, and how the father name of Mary changed. As long you are a person who is familiar with the Bible, what is the name? What is the name of the mother, the father of Mary? What is the name? Hold on. You are the one who says to me, you have evidence from history. Okay, according to history. What is the father? Who is the father of Mary? Who is the father of Virgin Mary? Yes. Joachim. Okay. So who is Amran? You are the one who told me Amran. Isn't it you who said to me her father is Amran? I told her this is it. like in Roman Catholicism, Mary is called the What Roman sign. Catholicism? Don't, don't play games with me. There's, there's two fathers, either father-in-law, like the woman she married, the one who is the father of her husband, this is her father too, father-in-law. Or real father. So neither of them, his name is Omran. Omran in the Quran is the guy who is married to the mother of Mary. Do you agree? Jesus in the Bible he said he's the son of David. He My was friend, the don't go there. Son. What this is what this have to do yeah, with yeah, the topic? This is the same oh, logic. No, no, it's this is same. not the same logic. This is not the same logic. The name he is yes, the guy, true. listen, listen, don't play games. Who is the one who is the one who slept with the mother of Jesus? Who is the one? No, this was a miracle. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about who is the father of uh, Jesus now. I'm asking you, who is the one who stepped with the mother of the mother of Jesus, not not, not Mary, the, her mother, the mother of Mary. Who is the one who stepped with her? Mother. Yeah. Saint Anne. Saint Annie and Saint. My friend, Lord. who is the who is the one who is the husband of the mother of Jesus? Husband of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the, which means mother, the grandmother. Joachim, Joachim, Joachim. Who? Okay. So, how how what what the Quran says? Who is the one who is married to the mother of the mother of Jesus? 
Quran doesn't say that. Like, like. Are you sure? You're confusing. Like Jesus was no, no. playing. Are you sure? I'm asking game. you. Are you sure? Say yes. Are you sure the Quran does not say that? Quran does not say. My friend, like what I, I, all, all what I'm asking you, are you sure? Either you say yes, I'm sure, or you say I am an ignorant. Please talk, teach me. What I know, which verse are you trying to tell me? I am not asking you. Either you say yes, or I say no. So I'm asking you, according to the Quran, who is the husband of the mother of the mother of Jesus? Imran. So what you said to me, it doesn't say that. But because you misunderstood the concept, that's why. Hold on, hold on. I asked you, who is the father of Mary? You said you were king, according to you, right? According to history. No, no, okay. According, so is that history correct? You are the one who says we learn from history. So which one you approve, the Quran or the history? No, no. Imran was not the husband of Saint Anne or the father of Virgin Mary. It okay. was a typological language. Okay. Just like just claimed okay, he from, was the son from, of David. And, and the, from where you get uh, this uh, in, like interpretation? Like that. This was. Yeah, I, I read this in the commentary. I said in Ibn Kathir. Who, Ibn Kathir, he said that. Give me the verse number so we can read. Commentary, Ibn Kathir, then all other commentaries okay, in the no, Quran. I'm asking you where in the commentary of Ibn Kathir it says what verse? Now, I can't remember like you. I mean, My I friend, just here we are speaking of okay. reference. We don't speak without reference. Here we go. This is the Quran, and whoever said that to you is an idiot. Read with me carefully. Do you know how to read? Okay. Do you know how to read? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Read for me the verse. If you remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have found okay. to you what is in my womb. She is who? She is the wife of Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is the wife of... which? In which language the wife of Imran does not mean the wife of Imran? In Semitic language. That is a stupid of you to say, my friend. It says the wife of Amran. That is, that's mean. It's not the wife of Amran. Jesus also said he was the Look at this, guys. Spirit. The verse saying the wife of Amran. Okay, what if we go right now, me and you, and we read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and everybody will laugh that you are lying to us, and you said Ibn Kathir, he said that. Listen. Listen, 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 do... listen. I'm asking you. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, are we going to find what you said, or you are a liar? But you know that... Don't tell me, but, don't but me, don't but me. I'm asking you. If we go to Ibn Kathir, my friend, I'm speaking to you nicely. If we go I'm to... I'm sure. Uh, don't, are you? A second ago, you were sure. I asked you where. You said Ibn Kathir. I asked you where you're this from. I just... No, 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 no. no. You, so you are lying. You are lying, my friend. You are... Everybody heard you saying you heard that from Ibn Kathir interpretation. No, this is not but misunderstanding. You, know. you said that, and this is Ibn Kathir, and you are a liar. You have to admit that you are a liar. The logical liar. So it's a mistake in the Quran. Remember, you agree. You are the one who agreed that there's no way that the father of uh, uh, the, 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 the Mary, the mother of Jesus, her father is Umran. Then you can you explain why? Did you, did you why agree? This, did you agree with that? Yes, did you, ag did you agree with that? Did you agree with that? Yes, you mm -hmm. agreed, right? Okay. Now the Quran yeah, yeah. and the interpretation confirm that the father of Mary is Umran. No. What do you mean now? This is Semitic language. This okay, is show me where it is. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Show me where it says that. Just... Here we go. No, no. The wife, the wife of Sim. Omran. Listen carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir, the one you are hiding behind his back. The wife of Omran, mentioned here, is the mother of Mary. I mean, how clear we can make it more? Yeah. Okay, so what are you lying? So it's not a Semitic language as you claim, as, as you lie to us. So she is the wife of Amran, and the father of Moses is Amran too, correct? Yeah. Okay, here we explain then how Muhammad, he said that Mary is the sister, am, the I, sis, I, the I sister listen, this. Mary is the sister of Aaron. So now the yeah, idea yeah. became clear. So Mary, she is the sister of Aaron because Aaron, his father is Amran. Yeah. Okay, so this, mean, is the, so this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. It's, it's obvious. No mistake in the Ibn Kathir, not in the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying this is the wife. She is the wife of Amran. The Quran saying that. What's wrong with you? But 
look at the Bible. My friend, the don't we look at the Bible. Don't look at the, the, the Bible. You, you, you Muslims, you don't have an idea about the Bible. You copy paste. Does the Quran say clearly with the clear words in Arabic? وَإِذَا قَالَتْ إِمْرَأَةُ وَإِمْرَانٌ إِمْرَانٌ رَبِّ إِمْرَأَةُ وَإِمْرَانٌ إِمْرَأَةُ وَإِمْرَانٌ Do you know Arabic? No, no. I okay. Don't, so what? Imra okay. In your language, whatever you have, what translation you are reading? English. Okay. What translation you read? English. I know. I, what the translation I, you read? What? Who is the translator? What, which translator you accept? Oh. A various translator, Yusuf Ali or... Okay, this is Yusuf Ali anyway. As long as you are asking for Yusuf Ali, this is Yusuf Ali, have fun. Okay, Yusuf Ali is saying, let me be sure that this is Yusuf Ali. Uh, this is Hali Khan actually. Let us go to Yusuf Ali, just to be sure. No, no, you is... can do your translation. I... No, 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 I will do it as you wish. Show me one, one person agree with you. Otherwise, you are lying to us. Just to cover the mistake in the Quran, the horrible mistake in the Quran. Yes, horrible mistake. You are the one saying that this is a... Uh, so you agreed, you agreed. First of all, you, it's you. You agreed that the father of Mary is not... Um, uh, no, uh, is that, that the father of Mary you is not Amran. Listen, listen. Women of Islam. Listen, did you agree with me or not that the father of Mary, the real father of Mary is not Amran? Did you agree with me or not? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So how the Quran here says that this is her father, his name is Amran? Oh, then look at the Yusuf Ali translation. It says My that friend, this is Yusuf Ali translation. This is Yusuf Ali translation. It says, Behold, oh, the women of uh, of Imran, the women of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I dictate unto thee. It doesn't say that wife of Imran. It says that. It says the women of Imran. Who is the woman of Imran? My woman is my wife, my friend. Actually, you know the interpretation my friend i showed you the interpretation okay this is my challenge to you show me one interpretation i agree with your statement that Amran is not the father of maryam the mother of jesus can you show me one interpretation i agree with you challenge you know what i will shave my i will shave, I will, I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can show me one interpretation do something <laughs> Yeah, it's a challenge. Well, it's you will go. A... No, no, no. It's a challenge. Okay. You will go. You are my hero. I showed you the first interpretation. You know what? I'm willing to show you. I'm willing to show you as many interpretation as you wish. What do you think about that? I will open for you an Islamic website. Have all the interpretation you can imagine in the Islamic library. Let me talk. Let me talk. No, you I have can... to give me interpretation. Agree with your lies. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. you have to say I was lying to you. It doesn't say that. I'm fabricator. I fabricate things, and okay. this is a habit for us as a Muslim. So either you say, either you say I'm fabricating, either you say I'm a fabricator like my Prophet Muhammad, or you have to tell me the interpretation. Would you say because you are the one who mentioned that you did read that okay. in the interpretation of Ibn Kathir? We open Ibn Kathir. We could not find that. Ibn Kathir says clearly that this is the wife of Amran. Quran says that. Uh, give me, the... give me the interpretation. Stop playing games. What interpretation? What? Okay. In what, what, what interpretation you want to give me, Marcus? I, I have only one interpretation. Which one? About that. Which one? Which one? Which one? Of which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, where is the interpretation coming from? What is the name of the interpretation? No, there is no, interp there is no interpretation about... So you are lying to us. No, there is interpretation. Here we go. All of them, here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read everybody and laugh at this guy, the liar, who he thinks he have knowledge, trying to cover the big mistake in the Quran, because the million, there's a true story, by the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid your, your, your prophet. You're a prophet, he heard from the Jews that Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Maryam. And this is correct. In the Old Testament, there is a woman, her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Moses and sister of Aaron. So Muhammad the fool, he thought that this is the same, the same woman. He thought that Maryam is the daughter of Amran and she is the sister of Aaron. So he, he, he attached Mary to Amran, which is the father, yeah. which is, which is the right. father of Moses. At this point, now read yeah, me, read yeah. me. This, point, this is right. a Jalalain. This is a Jalalain. Listen, listen, listen. You're right at this point. Okay, I, I'm right at this point or not? Because in the 7th century, 6th uh, and 7th century... My friend, don't Muslims tell me 7th centuries. I'm not talking about even the sister of Aaron. I'm talking about how Mary she became the daughter of Amran. In the front of you, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain. Mentioning when the wife... The, read, 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 read. This is a Jalalain. the wife of Imran. Okay. The wife of Imran. Okay. The wife of Imran, she is the mother of Jesus. Okay, I want to ask you, how this mistake happened? How the father of... Uh, of Moses became the husband of the of the mother of Mary. Okay, 
actually uh, the apostles of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu they denied the history that Mary, the father of Virgin Mary was not Jehoiakim but Imran. They made up this history. So I have to... They made up history? So you are saying to me the disciple of Muhammad, you are saying the apostle of Muhammad, they are a bunch of liars, you are saying? Maybe there is a bunch of hadiths about like apostles. But my friend, this is Quran. What's wrong with you? It says, The one who is Allah is talking is not it's not even Muhammad, supposedly. Allah is saying the women of Imran, she said, the, the women of Imran, who is he? Who is she? She is the mother of Jesus of, of Maryam. So why you keep saying to me, maybe the disciples are lie? So look what you did. You just agreed, you just agreed that Muhammad companion, they are a bunch of liars, and maybe they fabricate that in the hadith. But by doing that, you prove that this is absolutely false because Islam is false because the Quran is the one saying that, not the disciples of Muhammad. Actually, they misinterpreted the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying the women of Imran, you give me interpretation. It says the women of Imran. Since when, if somebody says the women of Imran, he didn't mean that she is the women of Imran. The guy, he can't have kids. The story is there. And his wife, she said, I'm going to designate this child will come to me to be for you god who is the one who did that the women of Amran. you tell me what does that mean the same thing it, it is a semitic language that jesus said the son of david my friend this son, of, the, david, the son, of, son of david my friend because by birth jesus he goes all the way to david mary she have nothing to do with musa she is not going all the way to david they are from different tribes even in this case, it doesn't work. He didn't you read that they are not, they are not from the same in gospel of Luke? Listen, they are not gospel from the same Luke? tribe. Listen, listen, I'm going to give you a chance. So this is a mistake. I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Can you give me one thing to prove to me it's time to be true? Yeah, the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. Like what? This is the biggest, The, I mean, in Surah 7, verse 157, it claims that Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and Injil. This is the prophecy of Muhammad? Chapter, I mean, the prophecy about chapter, Prophet Muhammad. No, no, no. Give me, give me. First of all, that is funny of you to say, because the Quran says that uh, the, uh, Jesus will say, he will say there's a prophet who comes after me, his name is Ahmed, correct? Yeah. Okay, what is the name of your prophet? I'm not referring to that because the, we know that Injil was fabricated. You, what is the name so, of your prophet? What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad Ahmad. So his name oh. is Muhammad or Ahmad? Is Ahmad is a name or a title? Is Muhammad a name or a title? Name and also title. Okay, so how we have many names? What is that name? Does his mom she call him Ahmad or call him Muhammad? Both. We do not call him actually Ahmad. Uh -huh. but so why Muhammad. he is saying that he why he called him Ahmad? What does that mean? To relate to that Paracletos. The Paracletos is a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? The Paracletos will stay with us forever. He will never die. And he is a spirit. Is your prophet a spirit? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad's spirit. Spirits don't die. Spirit. They either go to heaven or So hell. Muhammad is a spirit. He is not a human. He is a spirit and also a flesh. Uh -huh. Okay, so the, there it says that this is a Ruh al Qudus. He is the spirit. And then, are you saying to me that Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? No, he is not the Holy Spirit. Well, you are quoting Holy for Spirit. me a verse saying this is the it's Holy Spirit because, the, because there, the verses you are quoting for me is about the Holy Spirit. So it has to be Holy, it has to be Spirit. Now, is your Prophet Holy? Yes. How then come, he is Holy Spirit. Then how come, okay, sense, I want you to read this for me then. Okay, hold on. As long as the Prophet Muhammad is Holy, how come the Quran says, May Allah forgive your past sin and the one to come? Yeah. Okay, what do you mean, yeah? How Allah will forgive the past sin of somebody who have no sinner, no, no sin? You just said he is not a sinner. Is he a sinner? No, or I didn't he, is, is, is he a sinner or he is not? Is he a sinner or not? Yeah, he's kind of So how are you call him holy? I mean, how you are a sinner and you are holy? I mean, are you crazy people? The second you call him holy, it means he have no sin. Sin, sinner doesn't mean that he has to be unholy all the time. 
because ah, so Muhammad is temporarily in... holy. Muhammad is sometimes holy, sometimes filthy. He was a man. He so why you call him holy? Because Allah forgave. But what do you mean forgive? Person. But it says in the past, and the one, in the, it, it, it doesn't say even Allah, it says forgive. It says, may Allah forgive. How Allah is God, he says me. Secondly, it says the one in the past and the one to come. So how he is holy, but he would do, a, he did in the past and he would do to come. Prophet Muhammad suffered in his life very severely. This is another question. I suffered too. I suffered too, my friend. What this, what, what this have to do with my topic? All people suffer. Have you ever heard a human being don't suffer? Stop playing, playing games. I'm asking you now, how he is holy, yet he commits sin in the past and he will commit sin in the future. That the so, Christian concept of holy is sinless, that is Jesus. But in most Islamic concepts, all the prophets were holy. So is so Allah holy? It. Is Allah holy the same as Muhammad? He is sometimes no, 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 no. No, no. Then you cannot use the word holy. Yeah, I can. Choose, okay, can you show me one, one, one statement in the Quran where it says Muhammad was holy? No, I'm not a Hafiz, but I am sure there is. No, there is not. I'm... And here we go. I just showed you this the opposite. Yeah, I say. Okay, listen, listen. Is... I'm going to go back to zero. All what you said to me, it turned to be false and stupid, and it, people are laughing. So I'm going to give you a chance. I will repeat my question. Can you give me something, one thing, prove that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Anything. Choose, of your, choose the best. Can you prove to me in any way? Yeah, I can give you many. Give me one, give me one for now. Give me one, one by one. Like in Isaiah 42. Uh, don't give me the Bible. The, the, do, you, do you Muslims agree with the Bible? Yeah, some part I have to agree. Oh, uh, sometime. Okay, what Isaiah said? What Isaiah? Isaiah 42. Isaiah prophesied about Prophet Muhammad. So Isaiah 42? Okay. Uh, what, what Isaiah 42 said? Read for us. Uh, uh, okay, read for us Isaiah 42. What Isaiah 42 says? Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, mm. in whom I delight. Mm. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. Mm. So, he, in the first two verses... No, read, 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 continue, please. continue reading, because you will see that people will laugh at you in two seconds. Read, continue reading. Yes. Or, only, or those only the only two verses you copy from the website. Okay, he will not shout or cry out or raise his okay, voice. Okay, Muhammad shout Allahu Akbar and will he attack his enemies? Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't mean... All right, continue. That. Continue the verse after it. A bruised reed, he will not break, and a smoldering wick, okay. he will did not Muhammad, slap out. Did, did Muhammad cut a trees and burn them? But he saved us. No, 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 no. Well, you, you, you see, we are going with it. You are saying this one is about him, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, first of all, first, first, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, first, first of all, do you agree that Muhammad burned trees and cut the trees of those who he hate? Yes or no? For cooking, yes, obviously. Not for, for cooking. cooking. What cooking? What does what, what does cooking? What does have to do with cooking? He is just doing that as revenge. Yes or no? Yes, he used trees. No, read power. carefully. Ibn Umar narrated the messenger of Allah burned the palm trees of Bani Nudair and he cut it down. The verse you quote for me, it says he will not even cut the branch of a tree, correct? Yeah. All right. You have to understand this is prophetic, that this is verse is not No highlighted. problem, no problem, okay. Now the prophet, now the... I am highlighting... Hold, hold on, you are highlighting for me how, how, how silly it is. Yeah. Now let me ask you, in Isaiah number 42, does it say uh, something about the spirit? Yeah. Okay, do Allah have a spirit? I will, I will put my spirit on him. Okay, do Allah have a spirit? Yes, obviously. Where, where you get this from? Where? Allah, the spirit is Allah, eternal. Allah has, no, is, Allah has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Don't you know that? Yeah, Allah has a spirit. Where do you get this from? You know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard. It's growing now. If you can show me one Islamic scholar or teaching agree with you that Allah has a spirit. That's why Allah breathed that spirit. Don't tell me. Heaven. Don't tell me that's why. Show me where you get this from. Show me where Allah where do you get this from, that Allah has a spirit, according to, as I know, any Muslim who believes that Allah has a spirit is not a Muslim. 
Yeah, obviously, Allah has a spirit. Where obviously? You are saying to me, obviously. Where do you get this from? In the Quran, everywhere it says that Show me Allah one. has a spirit. Show me one, where it says and Allah has a spirit. spirit. No problem, no problem. See, I'm, not, I'm not against you, my friend. I'm just uh, trying to, to, uh, 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 to learn from you. How you Muslims understand yeah, your false I, God? I remember okay. so, in Surah Insan, it says that Allah breathed his spirit to Adam. Thank you very much. And also, guys, Allah, he breathed, uh, okay. Allah, he breathed his spirit into Adam. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this let is me ask Quran. you. So how you Muslim, you say that Allah has no spirit? If I, I show you right that. now, if I show you that all Muslims agree, that Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit, what you would do? No, there is a difference between Allah is a spirit and Allah has no spirit. Okay, You're so I'm asking you, no, Allah has no spirit, neither he is a spirit. This is what I'm saying, both of them. But the Quran is saying that Allah breathed his spirit. Well, this is, this is, not, this is what Islam teaching. Allah, Islam is, is a book of contradiction, that's what I'm saying. So, do Allah has a spirit or not? So, actually, you are separating my Allah friend, I am not like separating. Here we go. This is your Islamic <laughs> Fatwa website. <laughs> fatwa number 50774. It says, here. <laughs> he listen, listen, that listen, that listen, that listen. Can... He is debating with the Christians asking, does God have a spirit? Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. So now what, I get it. What the because answer? Because they try to deny, like, like this complexity in the Quran, Tawheed. Okay, let me ask you, so Allah, he has a spirit. Is Allah one or two now? One. Okay, how he's one, but he have a spirit. Allah is the same as the spirit, or the so spirit is different person? We are not, because we are not separating the spirit from Allah. No the problem. Spirit is so, inside of but, but you said Allah, he has a spirit. That means it's additional to Allah. So Allah and his spirit, correct? Or Allah is a spirit? Allah and his spirit. Okay. That's what he dies there for. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did you hear this? This is very important what this uh, 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 gentleman said. He said Allah and his... Explain the Quran. Let me, let me, you didn't read any translation. This is in the Quran. Let me explain, let me, let me explain what, over what, let me explain what you said. Allah, let us type in, uh, in different colors so people can see in the screen. And you then you explain to us more so because people they are really happy from what you are saying especially me i'm very happy with you thank you for calling me so allah and his spirit this is what you say do you agree oh, you are highlighting that and like they are two separate beings my like, friend don't, okay don't do then that. then is allah is a, is allah is a spirit you said no no Okay, so that means it's two. As long as you are saying Allah is not the spirit, that means Allah and his spirit. Like I have a, I have a spirit, that doesn't mean I... My friend, don't stop playing I... games. Okay, I just said to you, either you say yes, yes or no, no. Is Allah is a spirit, yes or no? Yeah, yes. He's a spirit? Yeah, that's what the Quran says and all sin. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A second ago you said to me Allah is not a spirit. What happened? Allah is not a spirit. Allah has. Okay, a so spirit. Allah, He is not a spirit. Allah, He has a spirit. As long as it's yeah. not, Allah is not a spirit, so we can't consider them one. They have to be two persons at least. Maybe one God, yes, but not one person, because you are the one no, who's saying to me. We do not highlight that persons, like two persons. Okay, okay two when persons, you say Allah, say Allah, one God. Allah, He has a spirit. And I asked you, you said Allah is yeah, not yeah. that spirit. Yes. Allah is not Allah that is spirit. Not. So, how many person we have? I do not, actually, I do not want to go to that person who would like... Why you don't go? Shit. How come you want to go to Christianity about it's Allah being shit. one? Oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't play games. So, is Allah is the same spirit? You said no. So now we have a spirit and we have Allah. Are they one person or two person? I do not understand this person. Why are you bringing that person? You are the one who wrote understand. it. I asked you because you mentioned person. Isaiah. Isaiah says that God is spirit. God is spirit. Listen, okay. okay. So God Listen. is spirit. Is, I, this is why I asked you, you, your God, Allah has a spirit. You said uh, he has a spirit, but yes. he is not a spirit. My God, Listen. my God is a spirit. My God is a spirit. So, so listen, listen. So when you Muslim, you copy the Bible and you are claiming that you have knowledge in the Bible. 
Did you ever see? Say, let me ask you. Bible. Have you ever yes. heard? Have you ever heard of verses in the Bible saying that God is a spirit? Yeah, John four twenty four. I know okay. that. Okay, God is a spirit. So how Allah is not a spirit? So obviously, the God of the Bible is not the same as the God of Islam. I do not believe that. The this is not opinion. Right? You are the one who's quoting for me the Bible. As long as you are quoting the Bible, you have to believe in what's in the Bible. Me. Okay. So let, I'm not quoting. Okay, let us go. No. So what you are saying to me, Isaiah, speaking about him, you quote for me a verse. You believe in it? Did you believe in it? You said you believe in something. Agree. So Isaiah 42. It says God, Spirit. Yeah, yeah. This I is the, my okay. So this is the he Spirit said. of God. This is God Himself. If you go from the book of Gen from the beginning, it says God. He created the whole earth and the heaven. And then what happened? That God, his spirit was above the water, above the surface. So Look, Allah, God uh, your God Allah, your God Allah is not a spirit. And he, according to you, he has a spirit. But Muslims, they say no. Which is absolutely, you have a different religion now. I don't know Muslims what, say that Allah doesn't have a spirit. Here we go. He's here, we go. The here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one who's making things up. Here we go. It says that the spirit is or a soul is not one of the attributes of Allah. Rather, it is one of the things that have been created by Allah. Do you see it? Well, it then it, this fatwa is actually not true because Allah cannot okay, show me a fatwa, Adam. Agree, show, okay, show me one Muslim in the world agree with you that Allah has a spirit. Because we Muslims do not talk about this Not only because, now you talk, you talk, now you talk. You have tons of books and, you, you know, the Al-Khumani, he said the Muslims, Sunni, they have the biggest library of bathroom. Because all of your books speaking about the, 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 the right. private part are down. So listen, I want you to, don't tell me we don't have, we don't talk. You know, you talk. I, can you show me one person in the whole Islamic uh, cult agree with you that Allah has a spirit? Okay. Every Muslim will agree with me if there is no Christian, because if we say in front of no, you Muslims, don't agree with the Allah Muslim. I'm not asking you agree with the Christian. Now I'm asking you. If there is one Muslim what agree with you as a Muslim, you, you, you yeah. as a Muslim. If there is one Muslim yeah. agree yeah. with you as a Muslim that Allah has a spirit, can you show me the name of the scholar? Everyone will agree with me because, but they will not. Nobody agree with you. You are a liar. So you are saying to me that the Muslims don't agree. They, they okay, agree with no, you. But they, they will not agree in front of a Christian because ah, a Christian they will not agree Muslims have the Muslims have two faces. In front of me, they will not agree, but in, in the backyard they will agree. So you are a bunch of liars, then. This is not lying. This is taqiyya. You know nothing ah, about. Ah, taqiyya. What taqiyya? Explain to me. What is taqiyya? Like we can tell lies. Okay, so you are lying about, okay, guys, listen carefully. So you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, you are allowed to lie about your God to me as a Christian. You lie about your God. So you say to me, he have a he has a spirit. Lie about? Yeah, you are lying to me. You said you, lie, you are allowed to lie to me. You are allowed to lie to me about your God. I'm asking about your God. Like, if you just, uh, if you just take and put a hidden camera in a mosque and then sent a Muslim to ask about the spirit of Allah, yeah, they will explain this very plainly. But in front of Christians, we do not use this type of terms. That's why Muslims, okay. they so have in the to mosque, deny. So you are saying to me that we Muslims, we have double standard, two faces. Not double standard. You're completely misunderstanding. My friend, aren't you the one who said to me we lie? Me. Okay, listen. Aren't you the one who says to me we use taqiyya and we lie, we are allowed to lie? Did you say that word or me? We also use taqiyya. Okay, you are I'm asking you, did you say we are allowed to lie? Did you say that or I'm, I'm, I'm making things up? Yeah, this is okay. all over so the So you are lying to me all over the phone, guys. Did you see it? All over the phone. So you are saying to me that we Muslims, when we talk to each other, we have different answers from the one we give it to the Christians. Because when we talk to the Christians, we lie to them, correct? Yeah, but this doesn't consider as a lie. So ah, okay, no problem, guys. They really lie to sick. us, but this is not considered as a lie because Allah, he encouraged them to lie to us. I mean, do you see how amazing this religion is? So Allah, he encouraged the Muslim to lie to Christians when, the, when, a, when a Christian... Is no, listen, listen, listen. So you, you just said that when I ask you about Islam, you are allowed to lie to me because Allah encouraged you to lie to me because it's not considered to you as a lie. This but yet you are lying. This is not... In my religion, this is not a lie. My, my friend, but you are the one who says to me, we are allowed to lie. So you are saying, according to Allah, it's not a lie to lie, correct? Yeah, obviously. Okay, thank you, you know, for the, 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 the
Okay, so so now any question I ask you, you're allowed to lie to me when you give me the answer. I'm not lying to you now. No, 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 no. How I know? You are, you are the one who just said to me, we are Muslims, we are, we are allowed to do this to you, and Allah does not even consider it as a lie. What, you, what he allowed, he allowed to lie. So you are saying to me... Obviously, he has to establish the truth. Okay, Obviously. but how you can establish the truth if you just said to me that we Muslims, we are allowed to lie to we the Christians? Will use only, we will use plain language, but like there is only one This God, is not what you said. Is... No, you said to me, yes. no, you said to me, you know, we are allowed to lie. And we, this is why the Muslims... Yeah, they we are allowed it. to lie okay. if you... If so, you just so now, if I ask you, okay, if, if I ask you, if I ask you any question about your God, and I'm asking you about your God, you're allowed to lie to me. So how we will find the truth? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you know you did, you did, you did. You said to me that Allah has a spirit. I said to you, give me one Muslim and agree with you. You said to me that uh, uh, they will the not. Quran agrees that. with me. Huh? The, our prophet agrees with us. The Quran agrees with me. The Quran Allah agrees. Has okay, okay, so. Uh, but you said Allah has a has a spirit, but He is not a spirit, correct? Yeah. Okay. Allah so I is ask a you. Being. So listen, listen. So is Allah is a being, and the spirit is a being, or it is one being? No, 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 no. one being. Okay, but uh, but I ask you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. Yeah. So how He can be one being if He is not the spirit? Because if he is the spirit, how can he sent the spirit? How can he breathe that spirit? Okay, guys, he, if he is the spirit, how if you answer me, don't tell me, don't ask me the question. I'm asking you. If you are saying to me Allah has the spirit and Allah is not the spirit. Okay. So is the spirit created? Is the spirit of Allah created? Allah can create that spirit and this is not the question. This is not the question. The spirit of Allah. No, no, spirit. The Quran doesn't say anything that I'm asking you, you, you. It's your belief, it's your religion. No, no, no. This would be a blasphemy to say that. To say what? The spirit is created. Okay. So the spirit of Allah isn't created. Is Allah created? No. Okay. Allah so now we have. Allah so now we have two it? and a created. So we have two and a created being. And the spirit is not Allah. And Allah is not the it's spirit. As long as Allah exists. The spirit exists. This is so not the question. Not this spirit. is not the question. Are they both created or they are not created? You are saying no. No, 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 no. Eternal. The, the spirit and Allah. Okay. Allah's so now let us, let, us, let us do this. We have Allah. He is not a created. Allah. Let us, yes. let us, let us, let us uh, type it here in the screen. So people, they will follow with us. So Allah plus the spirit. Anything else is not a created. Why are you writing plus? Because it's, they are not one person. You are the one who said to me. Why? I, I asked you, is Allah the spirit? You said no. You should write capital S. This is an insult to the spirit. You later, you can change it, fix it for me. For now. So if there is anything else beside Allah and the spirit are not created. Yeah. What is that? No, we do not think like that. I'm asking you, if there is something else beside Allah and the Spirit are not created. What? Is that the Quran? What about the Quran? Quran is eternal and it's Thank you very much. Quran is not a created. So look what we have now. We have the three. Three separated. And yet they are not created. How that can be? Allah, the Spirit, and His Word. They are not one. Not only Quran, but also the Torah. The no word, problem. Okay, the, the, word, word the Word of Allah. The Word of Allah. The Word of Allah. Okay. The Word of Allah is not a creator. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it Jesus the Word of Allah? Mm, yeah, but He... Okay, but you just I said mean, the Word of Allah is the creator. Everybody heard you. No, but you are misrepresenting My the friend, word of isn't Jesus. isn't it you? No, isn't it you who said to me, the word of Allah is not a creator? None. Did you say that? No, no, no. Jesus was not the word of Allah. He is a word of Allah. No, my friend. No, he is the word of Allah. 
I read in the Quran. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me he is a word, he is not the word? Yes. Okay. But isn't it the word of Allah? Is the word of Allah anyway? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus is the word of Allah anyway. He's not the creator. Jesus was created by the word. Hold on. No. He was the word. He wasn't created by the word. He is the word. How he is created by the word. Where it says that? It says that the Messiah is the word of God which was with in Mary and... He is a messenger and he is a spirit proceeding from him. And you are the one who said to me, you like uh, Yusuf Ali translation. So he is the word of God before he became a man, correct? Yeah, before okay. Jesus' body is so, not. When Jesus was the word of God, he was created or not? There is no such thing as a concept that Jesus was eternal. This is not the question. This is not the question. Was... Jesus was the word. At oh, that moment, who created the word? No one created the word. So, the word is so eternal. Allah, so Allah cannot be the one who created Jesus because that word was Jesus. The Quran says so. But we Muslims do not don't believe tell me that because the don't Quran... Don't me. Listen, he was the word and you agree. And you agree to that the word of Allah never been created. So Jesus was the word, so he is, exists by himself, has nothing to do with Allah. So Jesus previously for his appearance Jesus, to us, Jesus uh, came in the womb of Mary. No problem. This is when he is born as a human being. But before he became a human, he was what? He was the word. Do you agree? The word of the word of Allah. Thank you very much. And you agree that the word of Allah is not created. Do you agree? Yeah, the Quran doesn't so say that the, the Messiah word of was is was the any created before he Listen, was you born. Are mixing. Now look Listen. at this. Okay, let's, 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 focus me. So Allah plus the Spirit plus the Quran, three of them, three are not created. Who is the Quran, one? Not Quran, the word. The word, no problem, word. The, guys. The word, the word. Okay. So Allah, I will change it for you just to make you happy. Okay. Allah and the word, are and the Spirit of Allah are not created. Do you agree not with that? Singular, not plural. You are using plural pronoun. Doesn't matter. Allah and the Spirit and the Word are not created. Yes. Okay. So they are equal, are they? Equal in what sense? Because they are not created. Yeah, they are equal in creation, like in the creation of Adam, it was both the word of God no, 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 and no, no, the spirit no, no, no. of God. The word itself yeah, is yeah. created. The word of, uh, itself is no, no, created. No, no, the word itself is not created. The word itself is the creator of Adam. Thank uh, you. Look, when so Allah the creator of that, Adam is the word, is not Allah? Yeah, Allah, word and spirit. I, okay, like, but you Allah cannot is understand not the one, Okay, but Allah is not the one who created the word, correct? No, okay. the word so is eternal. The creator, you just said, and very important thing, you just said, uh, that the started. creator, we will put the letter C next to it, is the word, not Allah. Because the creation happened by the word, not by Allah. And the word itself is not created by Allah. So the word itself is God by itself, for it can create and do not need either the spirit of Allah or Allah himself. We do not say the word is God. We say the word I don't care what you say, but your philosophy proving that because as long as you are saying to me that the word is exist by itself and never been created, that means there's Allah or there's no Allah. It doesn't matter. The word itself is God. For God is the word and the word is God. Who is the one who created Adam? You said to me, the word. Okay. Who created not the, only word? the word? Allah, the word, Allah through his word and his spirit. My friend, how do you, you say his word when the word is not from him, is not created by him? How this is his word? Allah's word. Okay, but how this is his word if it's not created by him? I'm not saying the word is created by Allah. It okay, exists that's what I'm saying. Within if this Allah, is not the word of Allah, Allah, okay. If this word is not created by Allah, so how you say his? Because the word belongs to Allah. How it belongs to Allah if it's not created by Allah? Because everything is created by the word. Allah cannot create This is not a question. The, the word, word itself is not this created is by Allah. Allah. Cannot... Our friend, focus, Allah, focus. Allah. Breathe, breathe. Okay. If you say to me, let us say, let us make it something physical, okay? 
if you see my phone, you see my phone, okay? And this phone is not made by me, okay? If I ask you now, is this word owned by Allah as a property? Or it is independent and it exists by itself. Is it owned by Allah? No, we do not say it owned Thank you. by Allah. So, it's not owned by Allah. Guys, take one. It's not owned by Allah. Okay, is it created by Allah? No. So Allah has nothing to do with it. Yeah, obviously. Listen, as long as Allah My friend, exists, you just the said it's not owned by Allah. It is not created by Allah. So what it have to do with Allah? Nothing. You are actually just... Uh, you are going too deep and philosophical. Uh -huh. Aha! So Islam is a stupid cult. The second you go deep, Islam go go mark. Islam go 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 bold. Lose all the hair right. and get naked. Yes. This is why you are trying to get away from it. So the second we go deep in Islam, we find Islam is a stupid. Now we can because now we have a three divine. We have the world which is not created. We have the spirit which is not created, and we have Allah which is not created. So you yes. Muslims, you believe in the Trinity. Allah. Okay, Allah now listen, don't tell me, listen, listen, how you say free and created, but you are claiming that you worship one God, and the one who created you is the world, not even Allah, so you should worship the world. How can you worship the world? Well, isn't I mean, it the one, is it the world, oh, hold, hold on, is it the, uh, uh, let, the me, let me explain to you how you can worship the world, because according to your logic, that the one who created everything is the world, that means Allah is not the creator. And the world itself is not created by Allah. So, Allah is just individual, exists by himself, no problem. The spirit exists by itself, no problem. And the world exists by itself, no problem. But the only one who created anything, according to your belief, is the world. You can, okay, if you worship, if you want to worship the world, you are actually worshiping Allah. Okay, my friend, I, 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 I can stay longer. Okay, you can call me maybe next time, you are welcome. Uh, but as you see, guys, this is how silly this cult. But this gentleman, he said many things important, that Muslims, we are allowed to lie to you. And this is why you Christian, you should be very careful when you listen to Muslims. Be, be, he said clearly, with the clear words. I hope everybody will cut this conversation and put it everywhere. That we Muslims are allowed to lie to you, and this is not considered Islam as a lie. So everything he says to me now, it's possible to be just a lie trying to defend. Because he just said that. And now we, when we get deep, we don't want to go deep. Why? Because deep will, will, like, will show you right away how silly the skull. As long as you don't go in details, it's fine, it's okay. You know, Allah is God. But if you go in details, you will see that Allah is no one. He did not even create his world. And the world is the one who is the creator. And Allah, according to him, he is a spirit. But by the way, according to Islam, Allah has no spirit. This is a lie. So this is either a mistake from him or a lie. Either it's a lie to defend, just to make Isaiah look fit with Muhammad, just to make it a propaganda thing. Or he is telling the truth, and that means he believes truly that Allah has, has a spirit. But either way, that is will prove in Islam to be false. Look, because now we have a three uncreated divine, eternal. What is the eternal mean? The one is exist by itself. Those are exist by themselves. Allah plus the spirit plus the world. Where the world is coming from? Not from Allah. Where the spirit is coming from? Not from Allah. Neither of them is coming from anyone. That means there are three separated divine, not one. Not like in Christianity, we say three person, one God. In Islam, they have a three person and they are totally separated. So when a Muslim, he says, that the word is the word of Allah, that is a stupid to say. Because as you see, the word has nothing to do with Allah. It is not created by Allah. It exists before, without Allah exists. Or is it, Allah exists or not, the word is, is there. So how do you say this is the word of Allah? So it's very easy to prove Islam to be funny and a stupid cult. Just ask some deep questions. And you know, I was trying to give him a chance uh, uh, to give me one, you know what, I'm going to give you one, one more call, because I have to go, you know, I have things to do. But maybe I will give him one more call, because each time I say to him, can you give me one thing to prove Muhammad to be a prophet? Look what he do, he go and say, I will show you from Isaiah. I will show you, uh, G, uh, the Quran says, uh, Jesus said. Should I call him maybe or, or leave it for tomorrow? Maybe, maybe tomorrow. He can call me tomorrow, Mr. Khan. As long as you are here, subscribe to our channel. 
and maybe you can think about something very powerful next time you call me and show me one proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. But you know what? I'm going to give you one more chance. I will call you. I can't resist the temptation. Fun. Hello? Yeah, my friend, I don't have really much time left to talk to you, but I want to ask you one more thing. Just to give you a chance to prove to me it's time to be true. Can you give me one thing, prove to those Christians? Okay, okay. Yeah. I did it. Can you give me one thing, solid, something solid? Have nothing to do with the Christians say, the Bible says, something had to do with Islam. How you can prove to me that Allah is God or Muhammad is a prophet? Choose anything, but choose something very strong. The scientific miracles in the Quran. Like what? Give me one. Like Quran mentions the Big Bang. Where, where in the Big Bang it says in the Quran? The Surah Anbiya chapter 30. Okay, read it for us, please. Okay, wait. Like, like this is undisputable. You can deny that. Mm, no problem. Nobody can deny it. Correct, yeah. So guys,